Got flipped on his back by this level 10 behemoth. And look at dude. He really thought he was going to walk down John Wick. Please. John pulled out the blicky and shot both his kneecaps out. Got him squealing for backup. <laughs> Bro, he's still on my meat, bro. Leave me alone, please. That man John over here pressing this bot for some extra XP. But Buddy didn't know. John know this map like the back of his hand. Ha <laughs> ha. I lost that goofy. My guy stepped out the whip heels first, showing the drip. Bro, I hear in the menace stepper threes. He walked around the V ever so dog like and started to run bro pockets. Then gonna hop back in the whip and skirt off like nothing happened. Now we're at the Ops Trap House and I don't know what kind of work the lead op doing, but shoot. Let me hold something, player. I know you can spare a milli or two. Abram, tell us off. Bro cut the pack then just started absolutely violating the guard. I know the back of that cigar smell like nickels and earring backs. While the grunts are packing up the cheddar, one of the henchmen walks in talking about some, hey boss, why we packing up all the racks, man? We up right now. Because my freaking nephew greased a dog and he stole a car. And this car happens to be in the trap house. So we packing up cause a uh, car, my guy? Not just a car, John, Weeks car. Oh my. Bro clocked in and walked through the door like he finna go work a mean night shift. And let me say this, they ain't even showed our guy face yet. So you know he finna be on timing. Just give the whip back to him, bro. He killed my nephew, my brother. And then he packed up a bunch of my grunts over a whip and a dog, my nigga. Hey, let me stop you there, buddy. That whip clean as heck now. Nah. Shoot, I'll pack up an opera for you to get my jump back too, bruh. I can't lie. And you think he's gonna stop now? My guy, ain't no way he really that cold. When bro said that, the lead out went straight to glazing just like his brother. And we see our guy coming to frame for the first time this movie. He spent bro around and punched the sig out bro gut. Entered the battle stance, hook bro's elbow, and flipped him on his spine. Then he broke dude neck off on this pavement. Hmm. I thought I heard something over here. John out here trying to do dental work on these niggas. Bro thought he was gonna pull out the blicky, but John's on timing. And flipped him around, got him looking like he trying to push out a dookie. Did you know he killed two goofies in a bar? Yes, I know, my guy. With a pencil, bro. Everybody heard it. A pencil! A freaking pencil, my nigga. I'll tell you this. Them stories ain't cap, my boy. That fool want all the smoke. Ooh, that boy just had the coldest entrance. This fool finna go stupid. That phone rings, and bro is already tarnished. Yo, look. you got my whip player? Bye bye, y'all. Bro walked to his whip, got in, and instantly got to reminiscing. He crunk up that Hellcat and greased this level 1 grunt on the way out. He got out into this open yard, and these grunts started to third party our guy. Like, dang, dude, you just got the whip back. He better take that mug to Los Santos Customs. They'll get you right. I guess John didn't scout the location before pulling up because now he's back in the shop and the bots done closed him off. Now one of them trying to run, but John hit that reverse and slammed him noggin first into this beam. This man John is a concussion seeker. Give this man a targeting flag cause dang bruh. These grunts come in and John makes light right work now, of the first two. Mink! Then he gave bro right here a kick to the baby makers then spammed him with light attacks. Is this nigga even real bruh? Man's out here getting ran over, and he is eating that jump for dinner, bruh. Bro is really Superman for real. And where are all these bots coming from with these whips? My guy Ultra Instinct, huh? the incoming V, packed up the recruit. Then he got flipped on his back by this level 10 behemoth. And look at dude. He really thought he was going to walk down John Wick. Please. John pulled out the blicky and shot both his kneecaps out. Got him squealing for backup. <laughs> But no one's coming for you, buddy. 
you're done. It pans back and John done walked up to the lead op and proceeded to do the most disrespectful thing I've seen so far. Mans fixed him and the op a glass of that liquor and forced that nigga into a truce of the decades cause he really don't That's want smoke crazy. with John. Then bro gonna drive off back to the crib looking like an Ultima final boss. I'ma be real, this video probably gonna be stupid long. I hope y'all got y'all popcorn. So John gets back settled in and it looks like he's trying to bury his past after all these pack up sessions he's done committed. He went down to the infamous basement and put all the Black Force artillery back up. And you remember the pit bull from movie one? Yeah, he a dog now. Look at that noggin. But just when things seem to be running smoothly, and you know this finna be some doodle bobbery. Just look at our guy expression. John went up to open the door and this Hispanic ball G over here talking about some Ciao John. So apparently bro's name is Santino. He is one of the lead goofies in John's society and is trying to hoe our boy. Trying to put him back in that fire because he packed up a few ops. Santino slid that rusty medallion at our boy and John was like, nah bro, I ain't doing it. So skedaddle. Ah snap. You can tell this goofy ready to hoe a nigga. Look at his face. Okay. All right. John escorted him out and bro walking out all zesty throwing his jacket over his shoulder. And this is where John knew he messed up. This crazy goofy went to the whip and grabbed a grenade launcher. Bro out here with Call of Duty streaks in his whip just to hold people. Balji lined up the shot, fired that mug, then boom! Blew that fool with John tail straight out the window. Then Balji laced him with two more shots for good measure. One hour later. Now John standing outside with the dog and the boogeyman is back in full effect. John went to this museum to see old buddy Balji, but right before he could, you got old shawty over here groping our guy with these painted Vienna sausages for fingers. Like bro, it don't take all that. Chill out. John walked in and bro is already on timing. All this time he wanted John to go kill his sister cause his dead crusty pops gave her all the power after he died. See, that's what's wrong with people nowadays. Niggas be jealous and go resort to some grimy tactics. Lame old goofy. After that, John went to the Fit Factory to get suited and booted for the travel. He pulled out this trunk and unveiled the Fit like he was Sam Raimi unveiling the new Spider-Man Fit. Then bro started crashing out cause he really ain't trying to do this jump. John got to Rome and had to check in with the Rome gang at the Continental. Then you know he had to pull up to the gunsmith to get the straps. Good afternoon, Mr. Week. I'd like a tasting. A tasting, bro? Bro over here talking about a tasting like he finna drink some fine wine or something. Not only that, bro getting a new fit and he done tapped in with the neighborhood snitch to get the layout of the op ceremony venue. Mr. Week, have a nice fade. Our guy went back to the room, put on his Gucci blazer, and now it's time to... While John down in the catacombs getting the straps ready, everybody up top getting jiggy dancing and singing, but little do they know, this ain't the party they signed up for. Excuse me, shorty. The old head is waiting. So Baljeet's sister makes her way out the party to handle some business, and my guy John up top on his Assassin Creed timing, lurking like he's Batman. And how did this guard right here not see Brody? He really was standing in plain sight. Shorty walks in the room and immediately gets the body in this Mr. Mosby looking goofy. Your breath stank. Mm. Your cut is weak. Mm. Your fit is dusty. Mm. And you look like Mr. Mosby. Now go on and enjoy the party, goofy. She went into this OD bathroom trying to freshen up. As the camera pans around, John in the background standing on business. And you know what's funny? Every time John pops up on these goofies, they faces be having me cackling, boy. Look at her. Flabbergasted, baffled, confuzzled even. John. Shawty. And you know he means business too. Bro got the Glock in hand and that mug don't have a safety. But we gonna skip the formalities cause Shawty already knew what time it was. She stepped herself into that cauldron and called game so John ain't have to. Thing about John though, he got that Mamba mentality. Cause job not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Spliggit! Bro, I ain't never seen a fool walk so stiff but look so clean doing it at the same time. Mans walked through the party and Mr. Clean done spotted him. And they already knew what the move was. They hit that midwest stare down, then pulled the blickies out lacing each other. Bah, 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 bah. 
To no avail though, they both made of vibranium. John skedaddled and dude already gassed. Like nigga, if you don't get in shape, Goofy always going into a fade on 50 HP, no shield. Brody hopped on stage and said, Hey Siri, enable aimbot. Target locked. Target neutralized. Laced the first bot, then jumped into the crowd. But the real question is, why are all these crackheads just hanging around getting jiggy still? Like they ain't just see bro get greased on stage. This is not part of the show. Headshot. Bah, bah, bah. Headshot. Bah. Yeah, this fool finna drop a nuke this fade. Bro already on a four man kill streak. And bro right here, like, that boy is really like that. Two more goofies come in just to get packed up. Low diff. Now it's really just getting out of hand, John. Cause he out here really farming these bots. But I tell you this, buddy right here got dead the worst way. John shot him in the gut, spinned him around, pulled his noggin back, then told him, goodbye, my nigga. Back to the lobby. Ah! Now bro one off his orbital V set, so you know he had to go corner camp to guarantee the kill. This recruit came around thinking he was about to cook, but John no. pounced on him and pumped his chest full of lead. And I guess everyone wanna taste the John's bullets. His buddy tried the third party, so John had to recover. The nigga swung his body to the side. Then swung back out to give dude a two-piece McNugget. Now that John got his orbital V set on these doodle bobs, you might as well call it wraps. He grabbed bro by the arm, flipped him, another two-piece for his partner, then dazed him with this elbow to the nose. But he ain't even let man's concussion resonate. He flipped dude on his spine, laid waste to him, and three other bots. Bro, these niggas are free eats. Welcome to the grease party. Somehow this nigga escaped this fade, but bro from earlier made it back to his shawty just to see her laid out, tarnished in the tub. And from that moment, he knew it was all smoke with John. Our guy gets back to the catacombs, and look at what we have here. This grumpy old scheme from the museum. John was like, y'all here to hold me? And she signed him that middle finger, and two veteran bots slid out the corners trying to slay my boy. Too bad this ain't they movie. So you know John greased them and dipped out, but I can't lie. I don't know about this scene cuz cuz how are these fools running mans down and not landing a single shot they must got their sensitivity maxed out goofy's got no recoil control john made it back to the primary blicky and started lacing all them fools i'm talking funneling these doodle bobs like some cod zombies he hit that slide cancel bah, got shot in the back ate the hit turned around bah, then got to the head glitch he hit that gta barrel roll then greased three more Bro, this nigga going stupid. I don't even know what streak he on now. He at least five off a nuke. First person to comment how many bots this nigga John and killed in this phase specifically, I'll cash up you five bucks. No cap. Okay, okay. I might be capping about that. Anyways, he made his way to that scavenger pack, picked up that Remington from BO2, and now it's time for business. Bro came around the corner and got a mean three piece. Then gonna flip the shotty on his shoulder just to reload. Hey John, my boy, we see you. Keep cooking, my guy. But he came around the corner thinking he's slick, but John got Hall of Fame awareness and quick drew the Glock, putting two hollows in him. He sidestepped, came back out, and turned bro right here into the bronze kneecap. And just as John was walking them down, another bot came out. But this one right here probably had the best idea out of all of them. Like I said in the first John Wick's video, your only chance of beating this Goofy is to throw the hands. Sadly though, this Goofy ain't got none and got slung to the ground. Two down, one to go. Ah, that boy done lucked up. John out of ammo. But John was like, there's no way out of this one. You're done. He pushed that barrel into buddy chest, drove him into the ground, proceeded to reload, cocked the shawty back, then greased him with a one hitter quitter. 200 HP, max damage, point blank. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, this fool John went through at least 10 to 15 more of these green vest ganine bots. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We here for the real fades. John got out them catacombs, strode his tail down the street, thinking everything jolly, just to get smashed on by this incoming whip. And what do we know? Who is it? Yeah. Baldy from earlier had his chase down badge activated and ready. He came out the whip pressing John. Yeah, John, I'm on you, boy. And these goofies going blicky for blicky with these shots. Look at this. Mans jumped over the hood. As they reached the last car, John said, bump it. And G slided on Brody's chest, tackling him. Bro thought he was slick, but John caught the elbow, pinned him against the hood, ripped the blicky out of his hand. But like I said, all of John's menace points are in shooting. When it comes to hands, he is on fraud watch. Baldy weaved his light attack, gave him a knee to the stomach, then two pork chops to his esophageal nectum. 
and got RKO'd on his back because John ain't no hope. Then John gonna backhand Brody for good measure so he could run off and pop some more mini shields. Unlike all the other bots though, this nigga right here is actually a nigga, so you know he ain't going. He chased John and tackled him like Ray Lewis, and now they tumbling down the stairs. These fools got up and started brawling. I'm talking stiff jabs to the chest, booms, spins, all that good jazz. Somehow they end up flying through this window, and now they on continental grounds. So this spade gonna have to wait for a bit, or they will be getting packed up by my guy right here. These fools get to the bar in the hotel, and John was explaining to Broski that he had to hold Shawty, cause her brother is hoeing him with that rusty medallion. Baldy told him he respects him for that, but soon as he done with that drink, it's back to fading. No smoke is going untouched. They both walk off, and John gets a call from old Baoji, and he like, John, you know I had to at least avenge my sis. But John hung up on him, and he knew he was getting packed up in the future. So what does a grimy nigga always do? Yeah, you guessed it. Resort to grimy tactics. Bro called in a $7 million bounty on this fool John, just so he could live another day. And now all the bounty hunters and assassins are getting the notice popping up on their phone. It pans back, and now Baljeet talking to one of John's buddies in New York at the Continental. And he told him, you know that boy John is coming to pack you up, right? Man, did you not see that bounty I put on his head? He's dead, player. Oh, haha, <laughs> you're funny, but that man will come for you, and he will get you, my guy. He is really like that. Hey, not my problem, though. He did warn you. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> we get back to John, and now the whole city looking for Buddy. He walked past this violinist. She pulled the blicky, shot him in the back. John started pressing, but she wasn't going low-key. At least until he dropped her on her noggin, stepped over her back, snapped her neck. After escaping that fade, he was getting trailed by another goofy, so he pressed the one at the table, bashed his head into the counter, and shot his partner. <laughs> Bro, John got these fools out here team killing. Then while they tussling, he grabbed this pencil and stuck it in bro neck. Then grabbed another number two pencil and gave dude a shank fest to the gut. Grabbed him by the head, then stuck the pencil through his ear. But hey, we ain't gonna show that, but take my word for it. Soon as buddy with the pencil got right, he put the pencil right back into his neck. Turned him around, put the pencil on the wall, then slammed buddy into that mug. After seeing those fades, yeah, these goofies stand no chance. It don't matter how many niggas come to run his pockets either. Now John over here downtown in Op City. And look who waiting for the next fade. Yeah, Black Mr. Clean, he's back. And he looking to stand on business this time. John ran into the subway and they finna turn this mug into the Shibuya incident. Look at these goofies. These fools over here having a patty cake shootout in public. I'm surprised there ain't been no civilian casualties. These boys really some sharpshooters for real. John skedaddled farther down the subway, greased one bot and violated the other bot by shooting him and slicing open his crown jewels. Like, ugh, what are we doing here? Then spinned around his counter, dropping a dagger into his sternicus. John looked up and saw that bald head, and now it's time for the last fade. They both walk into that subway, and here comes that theme music. Once everyone clears off that train, it's gonna be all gas, no brakes. They stared each other down, and Baldy made the first move. John caught that hand, and bro started breathing all in his face. Know that boy breath kicking. But Baldy locked in and need the knife ah. dead into his leg. You can see the pain in his eyes. Look at him. Bro looking like he gassed off that za. He really trying to get it back in blood for his shawty. John drove him back, punched him in his chest, then flipped him on this dirty New York subway floor. Got all the hobos in the back looking baffled. They can fuzzle. I'm talking. What is going on here? Now they over here playing tag with the butter knives. Baldy parried that light attack, then tried a heavy attack of his own. But John weaved that mug just to get parried and disarmed by bro. John must have did a little training art before this rematch though. Cause the hands is looking better, I can't lie. He got bro elbow, gave him a good punch and an overhead heavy, kicked them shins in, then put a knee into his body. Now they tussling, tussling. And I think it's up for buddy though. Cause now John has his takeover badge activated. Cause he done flipped bro on his back once again. And I know this nigga at least 260. No Bradley Martin. He got up spamming heavies. Then John hit him with that Uno reverse and flipped the butter knife. Then drove that mug dead into his chest and sat him down and told him, Hey, this butter knife is in your aorta. If you take it out, 
you're greased. You lucky I mess with you. And then gonna walk off cause he knew he just handled business. Got bro posted up on the train like he finna have the most devious villain arc imaginable once he figure out how to get that dagger out his chest. While John recovering though, these two undercover ops chase him down and he makes his way to this homeless guy to help him. Brody a real one for real for real. He covered John up and as the two dudes come along, he fired both of them boys up, no hezzy. Then took John to this underground lair. I'm over here thinking this nigga finna see the Ninja Turtles and Master Splinter, but he was there to see an old friend he packed up years ago. And buddy right here on his Mike Tyson timing with all these pigeons. Bro gave him the whole rundown on why everybody after him, while John trying to bargain with buddy for help. They come up with a scheme and sent John on his way. John walks his way through the vent, pulled up on Baljeet mid-party, and struck the fear of Donkey Kong into his chest. They had a menacing stare-off, and I thought bro was really just going to accept his tarnishment. But bro took off running in a moment's notice. John had that aimbot activated and tarnished all the guard bots. While Baoji over here trying to run off. John ran him down but got cut off by some old bots. Now he on this head glitch. And this recruit walks by. Caught a bullet to the knee. And you know what's coming. John did the infamous elbow lock. Flipped him and did a Khabib maneuver. While on the ground bro proceeded to eviscerate both these niggas. Then pointed the blicky at Buddy Face. Look at him. He just accepted fate. He scrunched his face and everything. But guess what? To no avail, John still laced him. Then slid on his back to grease another one. John keeps skedaddling alone, greasing more bots. And now they end up in this maze of mirrors. And Baljeet trying to talk all slick. But this sausage finger scheme pulled up with the game. Even though we know what happened to them fools. He made it through the low tier levels and started running through all these doors. Then here comes Shawty out here ambushing. She got no morals. She doing all this slashing and spamming. But John tossed her junk to the side like a paperweight. Then he weaved, caught the elbow, broke it, then drove that blade dead into her itty bitty titty. To make it even more disrespectful, he stole that blicky and reloaded it just to leave her there to bleed out. I can't lie though. This boy Baljeet done pulled a high IQ move. He hightailed his tail into the Continental cause he know there's no violence allowed on the premises. Hey, but little did he know, bro, John don't care about consequences. Hey John, don't do it bro. Yeah John, don't do it. And put a round dead into his noggin mid combo. With that, he knew it was up, but he didn't care. Now bro out here with no help or resources. Yeah. I don't know how he gonna pull this one off, but with that being said, 1k likes and we doing part 3. Oh yeah, and 40k? 40k? Bruh, Jusu Mafia, y'all crazy. We are up. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Jusu Mafia, hidden technique. Peace.